<coughs> cool. I like your um, also rocking a rugby shirt just like me. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Um, I tried to make it my thing, but it backfired because um, you can't wear it on TV because we've got too many sponsors on it and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love vintage jerseys. I've got the vintage good, Waikato, eh? vintage Taranaki. I've got heaps, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've I picked this one up in, in Wellington, of all places. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. What do you mean, of all places? That seems like a place you buy a vintage clothing from. Yeah, it's just... Seems like the most clothing. common place. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. I bummed you out there. That's, that's what I mean. That's what, that's what I was getting at. Um, Sorry, bro. Anyway, anyway. Um, um, thanks so much for having me. I really enjoy talking about myself, so I'm excited <laughs> yeah. to do this. Yeah, it's all good. I'm a pleasure to have you here. Cheers. Um, so, oh, let's kick off with some questions then. Um, I recently saw you did a gig down in Hubbard. Um, yeah. How was that? What was your favorite part? It was the best gig of my life. Um, I was genuinely nervous. So I, didn't, I only went to Hawara because I kind of took the piss out of them a little bit uh, for New Zealand today. So yeah. I felt guilty. So I got to go. Is that even a gift? Yeah. Giving them a gig back. Yeah. And um, I booked the RSA hall, but they weren't allowed to drinks in there. And I was like, this is going to be... I, I don't drink, personally. I quite like sober gigs. But yeah. I was like, Howard is going to hate this. Um, it's weird. There's not lights on the stage. It was all, I was, my dressing room was the kitchen. Everything about it was weird. And I just went out there and the peel of Harwater were awesome. It went off. It was the best gig of my life. I loved it. Yeah. A guy hitchhiked to get to that gig from Wellington. He said it took him six rides to get to the gig. <laughs> six rides. Like, yeah, the commitment was, yeah, I love Harwater. Shout out. Great yeah, place. Yeah. So you'd, say, you'd have to say the favorite part of the gig was probably hitting the glass barbecue or being, or no, being no, in Harwater. No, 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 no. Um, I weirdly, um, it was weirdly quite a tame gig. I came out like, this is going to be crazy and like kicked over a chair and stuff. But it was yeah. um, very mature. I intentionally book small town gigs now. Um, I, I book them on like a Monday or Tuesday night because I found that Friday and Saturday are too uh, turned up. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah, there might be a few people there um, sampling the glass barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah possibly. Yeah, yeah. Or just binge drinking, really. Yeah. Oh, I'm a There's nothing else to do, is there? Now, small town New Zealand, unfortunately not. I think there is, though. You've got to get into mountain biking or hunting yeah, or something. Be, be I don't been know. There, been there. Go on the internet. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. It's yeah. fun. Um, okay. So here, here at Waikato, we've got a, um, might not surprise you, a Hillary Barry fan club. It just consists That surprises of, me. That's very weird. It's, it's not, but anyway. <laughs> no, it is weird. No, it's not. A Hillary not. Barry, the newsreader Hillary Barry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was Baz. Anyway, the only two members are me and one of the other editors. Um, do you have any thoughts on her? Like, what do you think of her? Oh, I, um, well, I started in TV and was, Hilary Barry was one of like the senior people at TV3 mm. and she was a legend. Yeah. I, um, have always had a lot of time for her. She's a really lovely person. Have you met her? Yeah. No, I haven't. Um, yeah. Do you have her cell phone number? No, no, I don't think I do. No. Could you get and if, no, if I had it, I would not give it to you. You're weird. <laughs> you're, we you're giving me weird vibes. <laughs> but also when you're trying to contact a celebrity, don't say, do you have her cell phone number? Like, just go, is there a way, like, maybe email her work email or something like that? No, we wanted a cell phone Yeah, I know, I understand you wanted that. Yeah, that's, that's weird behavior. And that's why you shouldn't have a cell phone number exactly yeah. for that reason. So, um, do you read the North Waikato News? Um, you probably don't. It's published in Huntley. I actually, I once came and did a story in uh, Rangariri. So, I think... It's, it's Yeah, around that area. I think area. I have been interviewed in the North Waikato News, but I've never actually <clears throat> read the publication. So, there's there's a story that's been going around that... Um, there's been reports of packs of wild dogs attacking livestock there. Oh, like, it's, it's no it's no life you matter. Like pe like farmers are losing losing their livestock. Oh, I'm sorry. And the to hear locals that. the locals have come up with a um, solution. They want to slaughter the dogs and sell the meat the meat at the farmers market there. Perfect. Do you, do you, have, any, do you have any thoughts on that? There's, oh, it seems like a good New Zealand Today story for a start. Um, yeah, I don't. Who wants to eat dog meat? Is that legal? Is that allowed? Well, I don't know actually, but. It makes you wonder, though, eh? But good on them. That seems like key ingenuity. And if they're killing your livestock it, it, and they're wild, <laughs> yeah, no one cares it, it, for them. it makes sense because, you know, the Huntley Bypass has probably taken, like, all business there. Like, yeah. people have been losing their jobs left, right, and so Oh, that's sad. So I, I didn't even think about that. The natural resources I on genuinely hand. love Huntley as well. As someone from Nelson where there's not a lot going on, I yeah. remember the first time I saw the Huntley Power Station. It's majestic. It's, it's big, eh? It's big. Yeah. That's what should be their slogan. Big. The Power Station. It's big. <laughs> Huntley it's Power impressive. Station is big. Yep. For some reason, I like just big pieces of infrastructure, though. So I, I'm a big fan of the Huntley Power oh, Station. Oh, yeah. Anyway, it's beautiful. Um, and they used to have a surf shop there. And that, I was, that was weird. They had a surf 
they had Huntley surf skate snow. Yeah. And I can't think of anywhere that is worse, that's further away from surf, because New Zealand is really close to surf, except for Huntley. Yeah, yeah. Further away from snow, you got to drive miles to get to the nearest mountain. And then even skating in Huntley, there can't be that much like nice asphalt. I'm sure so, there's like pow- paddle boarding or something on the Waikato River. No, even that. <laughs> even that would be too powerful. I, w- I wouldn't step foot on that, to be honest. I just was very suspicious. I don't know what was going on at Huntley Surf Skate Snow, but every time I drove past it, I was like, what is happening in there? <laughs> and whatever it is, it seems dodgy. Never saw it got, get raided by the police or anything? Nah, nah. I just drove past and just always was in awe of it, yeah. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. This um, is the most reclined interview I've ever done. Like, I'm, I'm not used to like laxing back what newspaper what publication is this for uh nexus magazine shout out to nexus yeah. that's a weird name because there's also like a conspiracy theory like uh nothing magazine called nexus do you yeah. know that uh no i, don't I did an so. interview with the guy who does um uncensored is the new zealand version but nexus is like expand your mind 5g is taking over oh, kind yeah, of nexus we, yeah we're not allowed to talk about that yeah no why not too I'm, controversial no, i can't can't disclose that reason okay okay yeah. i'm sorry to hear that yeah it might might be something to do with the name, but Nexus. Oh, like you're like literally in a legal battle with them. <laughs> no, no, we're not. We're not. Um, uh, it might be a fine magazine. I th- I thought it was a conspiracy magazine. So why do you want to bring the NBA to New Zealand so badly? No, because so for people who don't know, they're relaunching the NBA in Florida, yeah. right? Which is the epicenter of <laughs> COVID, right? <laughs> yeah, it for is, the world, it right? It's so dangerous. Yeah. And it's like, well, for what? So they can play, because they've got hotels in Disneyland. We've got hotels in New Zealand. We'd have the NBA in New Zealand. It would be mm. amazing. Stephen Adams, the ambassador. Quarantine in Palmerston North, the safest place <laughs> in the world. Have games at Eden Park outside. It would it, actually go off. You could have crowds. What about if it rains? Yeah, move it move it to the... Um, Spark Arena? Move it, move it to Spark Arena. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. You're thinking. There yeah, you go. Yeah. It's, it's actually a good idea. It annoys me. It annoys me that they're having it in Florida when they could have it in New Zealand. Wasn't there talks of the NFL doing the same? I don't think talks. I mean, maybe just... I just saw a rumour. Yeah, when you see a rumour, you mean a guy tweeted it once. I think it was on the NZ Herald, to be fair. Yeah, but that's not a (laughs) reputable news source. Oh, man. I just... (laughs) Name a a reputable news source. Uh, I think Radio New Zealand's pretty good. The Guardian? Yeah, Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah. Uh, And Nexus. Nexus. Nexus Sorry, Nexus Nexus as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you are you studying journalism? No, no, no. Because I do wor- worry about the sound of journalism in New Zealand just because I worked at TV3 when there was heaps of money and I saw what it was like and how in-depth the journalists could go. And then now where it seems like too many articles are written based on tweets. And I feel like that's what you read if it was no, NFL to New Zealand. I'm a, I'm a finance student. Okay. Yeah. So. I just do this because I like writing. Oh, that's cool. So your real passion is finance. Uh, your, your real passion is writing, but yeah. you're stuck in finance because you want to make no. money. Yeah, no, no, but I like both of them. I like both of them. Yeah. Do you, just because you want to make money, though, eh? Yeah, I was like a weird kid, too, and I, I tried to play golf because I wanted to be a CEO and stuff, and then I realized. Because you want to be a CEO? A lot, there's a lot more. It's, it's nice if you enjoy. Yeah, when I was a kid, yeah. I was no, weird. I wasn't cool. Yeah, I, wore, I wasn't I, cool as a kid either. I, yeah, so I like. Um, I, I was just thinking this today. I played golf and stuff like that, and then I realized I hate this. And I um, was very lucky that at uni, and that's why I like uni, I was able to f- find what I enjoy, which was, you know, going and doing comedy. And that's how yeah. I got involved. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. So if you had some normal questions, you'd be like, Guy, what is the origin of your comedy career? And I'd be like, fascinating story, but then well, I told it to you well, anyway. Yeah, the basis of asking questions not like that is probably because you... Too cliche. Probably get, you, you probably get sick of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, and I, and, in interviews, I don't get enough questions about packs of wild dogs in Huntley. So I'm glad <laughs> that you're bringing the hard-hitting stories. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Um, what is the weirdest thing you did while intoxicated back in your student days? I don't drink and I've never oh. drunk. So the weirdest thing I did was never drink. It's quite oh. weird, eh? Have you ever burned a couch? No. I went to I went to Wellington, which is a bit more of a tame university. Oh, I didn't say that, though. There was always like a girl who like would two fing- two foot like Chuck Norris kick a phone booth and like be on crutches for the rest of the year kind of thing yeah, it's and they'd right? call her like hobbly or something yeah, like that yeah, yeah. and it's like this is so this is such a serious injury she may never walk properly again because of drunken incidences and to be honest it's first year uni because i didn't drink growing up um alcoholism kind of ran in my family so it made sense but then at uni when i could have tried i um i just kind of stayed away and i think it was like oh week and Uni kind of taught me to stay away, I think. Yeah. Because, like, so many people would just, like, ruin their lives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I shouldn't laugh at it, but it is kind of funny. And, uh, and yeah, since then I just haven't drunk and it's been, like, this weird life hack. So I, I, did, I did do weird stuff, though, like, because a lot of other people were drinking, 
they made me do like I loved milk. I was often ate a lot of cereal at uni. Yeah. And so they made me sh- um, funnel uh, two liters of milk, which yeah. was so bad. And they didn't wash the funnel. Yeah. So that was like sickening. Oh, it would have been horrible. Uh, it's also just that much. I mean, that much of any liquid, but especially yeah. milk was horrific. Yeah. And um, yeah, I didn't do that many. I didn't do that many wild shenanigans. Just more like just embarrassing things that like I'd be embarrassed by now. You know? Yeah. Just like yeah. Yeah. Have you ever met David Bain? No, I wish. I'm obsessed with David Bain. Have you also the Black Hands podcast? Fascinating. No, eh? I haven't. Do you reckon it'd be a good cunt? Nah, no, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not sure. Not sure. I'm trying to use the word cunt anymore. Is that is that okay or is that right? Because in New Zealand oh. we use it as a term, of, a term of endearment, but I'm like, it is quite sexist. I just don't say it around my mum. Yeah, well, that's good. Well, aren't you? A, you're the um, the leader of the um, progressive movement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't say it around my mum because she's a woman. She no, she like just it. gets angry at me. Yeah. She, but other than that, yeah, I'm a bit of, I run my mouth a bit. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I can tell. The banter's <laughs> just flowing here. With <laughs> the boys, with the mister. Um, no, uh, David Bain, it's weird. I actually, last time I went, I, I did a gig in, um, I did a gig in Gore, and I got to Dunedin at like two o'clock in the morning. And the yeah. first thing I did was just go to where the David Bain house was. That's weird, <laughs> right? That's weird behavior. I was by myself as well. That's yeah. so, it was creepy. Um, the the house has been knocked down or got burned down. With yeah, it's, it's quite a nice house now, I think. Yeah, Just but it's still, it was weird there. for me to go there at two a.m. and just be lurking outside. Imagine if you saw. Imagine if you were living in that house and you saw me outside just staring in. Like that'd be that'd be even scarier than seeing David Bain out. Yeah, I c- couldn't imagine seeing Guy Williams staring. Yeah, <laughs> You'd be like, what is that lanky freak doing there? Um, who do you think would be more more guilty um, of having? Shit, shit glasses. I, I, okay, they're oh, both. Shit, they're shit both. Ba- no, nah, actually, David Bain's glasses are on trend now. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon David Bain looks like in cool. what area of the world are those trendy? In two thousand and twenty, and look, mate, we're not all in um, bloody Hamilton where we can just rock some like terrible gym shorts that have like blood stains. I hope that's blood. No, nah, it's blood stains from on house. Them. Okay, like you know, like David Bain looks like a hipster. Like that's cool. If that was in Auckland, people be like, that's a cool guy. On K Rose. Or n- I wish maybe, I could get maybe, this look. maybe in Wellington. Maybe in Wellington. Yeah. yeah. Or Yeah. Lundy again, yeah, those blue blockers you stuck on the door. I actually have clip ons like that. Both of these are like looks that I'm going They're, for. I, no, I rate I rate Lundy's ones. Yeah. Lundy's what about what look. about their lids? What about their lids? I reckon the best look is this guy here. Classic glasses and wizard beard. Yeah. That is a good look. I don't know who that guy is, but shout out to him. Yeah. What about their He's, lids? The lids. The haircuts. He's, he's got a, he's, oh, they're both going bald. David Bain what? looks great. Uh, other guy, Lundy, not so much, I don't think. He's got this weird setup going down the middle. I don't, I don't really like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. One you, like, my lid's pretty dusty, so I don't, I can't talk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, bloody hell. I've not seen a uh, picture of Mark Lundy in a long time, so it's nice to be I, met, I, reminded. I was having a uh, browse of your Twitter today. You said you got a... Uh, mullet in lockdown but i i can't really no i'm growing a mullet you're growing a mullet and i'm doing a good job but not like a ironic one because i know everyone in hamilton have one and it's yeah, like yeah. a big old haha what a big old laugh with the boys i want to get like a jerry seinfeld just like what's wrong with that guy kind of bad hair is what i want like 90s yeah, yeah. i like the mustache though thank you yeah, yeah everyone's growing right. one at the moment because it's a lot of good fun and you know we've got like too much spare time yeah that's facts but that's yeah facts. i i kind of disgust myself when i see myself in the mirror but then i try I was trying to look at myself in the mirror and that mm. solves my problem. Yeah. I want to play a game of, um, I hope your partner allows this, Fuck, Mary Kill. Okay. With, um, these. Okay, well, so, they're trucks. Yeah, it's a dump truck. Yeah. I think it's Cat 793F, uh, Cat 6015B excavator. Are you from a farm? Why do you know so much about um, excavators? Um, and a cat D11T dozer. Okay, great. Wow. So, fuck, Mary kill. Wow. Wow. Well, okay. Oh, wow. I don't even know. What, okay, what? You've actually bamboozled me here. I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. I think the digger seems the most useful. So, I think marry the digger. That's an easy start. Yeah, that's a good point. Now, I've got to find out which one of these two I'm most um, erotically attracted to. And I would say I would you run a number on the dump truck or? Well, I, don't know, them, I don't even know what to know run a number means. <laughs> there's two of them there. That could be a threesome. I really like these dump trucks. Trucks, and as a kid, I like dreamed of like uh, the staircase on the front is so cool. Yeah. So I would say I'd like to make love to that dump truck, and then what was the other option? Kill. Well, I'll kill this one because it's the least cool of the three, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Why? I, is li- that? I like the dozer. Yeah. I'd probably kill the dump truck. Why do you? Why are you att- attracted to? Uh, heavy machinery 
Because they're cool. They're cool? They're cool. <laughs> they're cool. Okay, I never... Yeah. Got, I, I, uh, everyone's just a little boy inside. What? No, I don't know if they are. Yes, they are. No, what? You reckon everyone's Diggers a little... are awesome. Well, how old are you? You're probably still a little boy. You're like... I'm 20. 20. Okay, I would have guessed like 16. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah. You're like, a 16 year old couldn't grow a bromide like this, mate. <laughs> yes. um, uh, okay. I don't think everyone's a little boy inside. I don't think everyone likes to, everyone has a few aspects of their childhood that they like to hang on to or something like that. Yeah. Do you wish you could go back to your, um, when you were like 12 or something? And just like, yeah. What oh, year did yeah. you peak and then where are you at now? Um, I peaked, oh, I, I must have peaked when I was like, yeah, eight or something. It's just been downhill from there. Do you think it's just because everyone's so, when you're eight, everyone tells you you're wonderful everything. And then you get to 21 and people are like, actually, you're quite shit at a lot of things. Yeah, you're not actually that good at this. You're not actually that smart. Like, you yeah. know, what the fuck are you and doing? And you come to you university and the bars, there's, there's actual smart people here. It's yeah. not like your, your bogan high school where you nah, seem like a genius. It's, it's, yeah. it's a small fish in a big pond. I feel your pain, man. Well, just watch out. Getting overly nostalgic can be um, a worrying sign. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, it can. Um, <laughs> If I told you that we had a spare couch, a lighter, some accelerants back at my flat. We're going to go burn your couch? Is would, this a, would, I feel would like you, you've you Dunedin culture. Would this is a Dunedin come? thing. Nah, not keen. Really? I, yeah, because through my job, through working at John and Ben and then working at The Edge and then doing New Zealand Today stories like at student flats, I'm like so sick of student culture and so st- sick of like bros putting me in a headlock and stuff like that. <laughs> That I know I'll go around to your house and they'll be like, guys here! And they'll be like, we've got stubbies! And there's like some funny beer. You're we've just got getting... double browns! And like, ha ah, ha have a big old laugh. And I'll just be like, the worst time, this is the worst time of my life. How... We don't have a door <laughs> on our house. So I was like, get a door. Fucking basic requirements. It's funny though. It's not. Have it's you ever not. punched a hole in the wall? No. And that, just, that, sounds, uh, that sounds like uh, problematic behavior. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like worrying. How, how, how old are you? I'm 32 now, so I'm too you're, old you're, to go yeah, burn the couch. Yeah, like, you're acting like twice your age. No, I'm just acting like I've seen this shit before, and you need to get new material. No. Yeah. I could say the same to you. What do you mean get the same to me? I all spit hot fire. <laughs> doubt. What? What do, you, what do you mean doubt? It was, all, it was all shit up until Hale's Kitchen. Are you kidding? No. I'm, oh, this yeah. is disrespectful. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm New kidding. New Zealand Today is my magnum opus. Um, well, come see me no, at the gig tonight and see how that goes. No, New Zealand Today was great. I'm just yanking your chain. Oh, no, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's fair enough. But if I if I get a couch and put it on stage and burn it and go, this is classic, have a double brown, then you'll know that I've, um, yeah, I've gone off the deep Smash double, cra- double brown on your head, light light a couch on fire call it a day and it's cool for you to I'd, do that because you're 20 and you're like experiencing it for the first time <laughs> but i've done it too many times because i so did it i thought i asked you before you said no well i was there when oh, idiots yeah, yeah. were doing it okay. you know i saw a guy do some dumb yeah, shit yeah, yeah. but i wasn't personally doing it because i was sober and i was like what the fuck is this yeah yeah i um i but yeah the weird thing about me is i've lived it i, I took because i worked in commercial radio mm. i had to go to university orientation when uh, I'm like 27, 28. It's pretty wounding. And eh? it's weird. That's weird being there when you're like a few years too old. Especially because 21 year olds or 18 year olds seem so young now, right? Yeah. I'm so old. It was creepy. Like this guy showing up at your orientation. Hey, kids. It's weird. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That would be pretty. It would be pretty chronic if I was, you know, that old. And yeah, you know, being sad. This is my life, man. It. This is my li- Here, I, I'm still here. I'm back at university again on some bloody Red Bull couches. Do you really want to be here? Doing this? Well, no, it's not. The, <laughs> it, I'm, I'm going to ask you, at this point, my career is not going well. The fact that I'm here <laughs> in this situation yeah, yeah. doing this. You're in the student union doing building some at the University of Waikato. Doing some trucks and stuff like that. Like, I, <clears throat> my career is not going well. Yeah. He's let's he's, be honest. I mean, that's obvious. Let's be honest. He said he'd fuck a dump truck, so. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, but you are, you, you... There was the you you tricked me you tricked me, yeah. But yeah, if there's any dunk truck dunk 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 trucks available after the show, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool guy, cool guy. Yeah, hook me up. Anyway, yeah, that's 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 all we, all she wrote. Well, that was good fun. Thanks so much yeah, for having me. Nice great. to meet you. What's your name? Josh. Thanks. Uh, shout out to Josh. Of course, your name's Josh, eh? Yeah, of I, course. I, I introduced myself before, but oh, yeah. I forgot. You're pretty famous and getting heaps of photos. You need there. to work on being more memorable. Um, but uh, okay. shout out to Nexus Magazine. What a publication. Thank you to uh, you who for filming this. Thank you. Sorry, what was your name? Nat. Thanks, Nat. Sorry if I forgot your name as well. And uh, shout out to um, Hamilton. Shout out to the Wakato. Cool. Awesome. Cheers. Yeah, thanks, guys. Um, oh, it was good fun.